Hello everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, we are back in my closet. I am going to go over my Neverfull collection and I will also point out handbags that I purchased and they are still at this moment under $2,000. Before we get started, make sure you view my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Dion. She was one of my mindset students in my class that I had in September and she made me this beautiful shirt. And today is Monday, Monday Mindset, and I just think it was the perfect time to wear this shirt. So, Dion, if you are watching this video, thank you so much. It's absolutely beautiful. I enjoyed having you in class. Leave your information below. So, hey, the besties can order. Once we have that growth mindset, guys, we can do anything that we set our mind to, okay? Okay, so I am going to turn the camera around. We are going to start with my never fools and then we are going to move over to my reverse monogram collection let's go besties we are going to start with the never fools i'm going to start at the bottom and then i'm going to gradually work my way up i do have a vetoed mm sitting here i will explain that later so let's go back down and we are going to start with the beautiful black unprunt leather never full this handbag is a must I don't brag on too many handbags in my collection stating that you need to purchase, but this is a need. This is a wonderful, carefree, everyday handbag. I had to make myself stop using it because I think I went like four weeks every day straight just using this handbag. It's so convenient. And of course, it's an MM size, so great work bag, great everyday bag. You can also use this bag for traveling. It's just so many good things that I have to say about this handbag. I love the inside interior, the smooth microfiber material. I love the color that LV decided to use instead of the saffron color that they use in the on the go tote, which is beautiful. I am just so glad that they went with the navy blue for this handbag. Gold hardware. I often sometimes think about if they would have used silver hardware, how would this handbag look? I know it would still look amazing, but from time to time, I do think about that. Inside, I do keep an organizer inside. Basically, all of my Neverfulls have an organizer inside or some type of pillow just to keep the shape. In this Neverfull, of course, it has a side zipper compartment. I love very much. If you add a bando, a color bando it will bring out so much up against this black and i'm so glad for some reason i'm so glad they went with a giant lv for this handbag i don't know why and one of the favorite parts about this handbag that everyone loves but i took the uh, uh strap off is this beautiful pochette this pochette can also be converted into a tote handbag or a crossbody handbag Honestly, you just need to attach a chain strap here and I wish I was I had one with me and you just attach a chain strap to the top zipper making it into you see how the D-ring is on this side and then the zipper is on the opposite side. If you look at your other pochettes guys, they are not made like this, okay? The D-ring and the zipper is usually on the same side. So with them being on opposite sides, you can convert. Just add a chain strap, a chain strap to this zipper part here, the larger opening of the zipper, and then to this D-ring guys. And there you go, you have a tote handbag or a crossbody handbag and you also can use this as a wristlet or 
a clutch. It's just that beautiful. So this handbag, of course, is a 10. I wish the Neverfulls came with gold hardware feet at the bottom to protect the base. But of course, hey, you know, LV, they do what they want to do with these handbags. And I love it. I absolutely love this handbag and I rated a 10. It's over $2,000, of course, but guys, it's worth it. I promise you, it's worth it. The next Never Full is the beautiful Sense 1854 in the MM size. I purchased the black first. I purchased the black and it just gave off granny vibes to me. Like, I just honestly felt so old with that handbag. And not to be rude, just being honest, it's my experience. I just couldn't get with it. And it just gave like... I don't know. It made me feel sad. It was no life to the handbag. And so I returned it. And when my CA let me know that a navy was coming out, a blue, and I'm like, I'm a denim lover. This was perfect for me. I have the belt to match and also the timeout sneakers. And guys, this is treated Vachetta. I'm not going to say carefree because I still feel you need to spray Apple Guard on your treated Vachetta even though I don't. I need to practice what I preach. But I just don't. I just want to love my handbags. I don't want to baby them. And that's exactly what I do with my handbags. I don't baby them at all. And sometimes I'm scared to carry this handbag because of the cloth material. It reminds me of my Dior tote. I just, I'm just so scared to carry it, but I love it. And this isn't white, it's a cream color. And so this is a perfect fall bag as well. And I will be bringing this out in the fall. Inside, of course, I do have an organizer inside and this beautiful, I love this like caramel microfiber material inside. And of course, guys, it comes with a matching pochette. Let me get it out. Okay, I'm using one hand, guys, so I, I apologize. <laughs> and so here is the matching pochette. And remember when I was telling you about the pochette in the Neverfull? Let me get it out for you guys, because you know I love to go into details. So do you see how the D-ring is on this side, and then the zipper is on the opposite side, right? And you see how the, the zipper has, like an opening here at the top if you go to the pochette from 1854 the d-ring and the zipper they're on the same side so you cannot convert this into a crossbody handbag but you can convert it into a wristlet as you guys can see i already have it converted into a wristlet and the zipper doesn't have the uh, huge opening okay you see the difference with the zippers? It doesn't have the huge opening. So I hope that I explained it well enough for you guys to understand. But I love having both in my collection. But the 1854 fits my life perfect because I love wearing denim. I love wearing all cream. I love wearing brown. This is a fall handbag. I'm telling you now. So if you don't have it in your collection, I'm not sure if it's still available. It was over $2,000, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it was over $2,000. I will try to confirm that with my CA. And I'm not even sure if this is still available to purchase. But I love having it in my collection. So, this is the bottom row. We are now going to move up. Next handbag, I'm pretty sure everyone has in their collection. This is the beautiful Damier Ebeen Neverfull MM size. This was my first purchase ever, guys. So I hold this handbag very close and very dear to my heart. And I also want you guys to notice how I preserve these straps. I let the straps fold over inside. I don't have them hanging out like this because I just feel like it puts so much pressure on the leather part here. So I like to just have them rolled over inside just like this i just wanted to point that out okay so this is the damier bean never full mm i did go for the pink inside the rose ballerine pink and as you guys can see it needs a good cleaning i wore this handbag out like even with 
an organizer inside <laughs> i wore this handbag out and this is a handbag guys that's under two thousand dollars so you need to have this in your collection carefree but i the inside for me i i need darker i really do i need darker because i went absolutely crazy using this handbag and of course it comes with a beautiful pochette let me get this strap out the way it comes with a pochette you guys know that all never fools come with a pochette I hardly use those side compartments and let me see i usually keep the price inside i don't probably i don't have it this is very old guys i've been having this for a while um i want to give you guys the exact price that i paid for it five years ago when I started collecting, but this is the Damier Ebeen in the beautiful rose ballerine pink. I believe it comes in two other colors, like a darker fuchsia pink and a cherry red. I'm not sure. I just know I fell in love with the pink, but of course I should have for a darker inside interior. And the interior is the textile material. It's not the soft microfiber material at all, okay? And of course, Guys, you can dress these up. You can add key charms to the side here. You can even put a bandeau through this D-ring and tie a beautiful bow here. Or just tie a bandeau and just let it hang. And with Neverfulls, if you guys can see, it does come with a drawstring strap, guys, to where you can cinch these handbags in. But I do want to tell you, if you cinch the Neverfull in, please uncinch. Do not leave your Neverfull cinch, especially canvas. I mean, that is the one of the worst things you could ever do to your canvas handbags is leave it cinched in. I mean, not even for 24 hours. You guys know how canvas can easily crack, so please be careful with your canvas handbags, okay? So, that is the beautiful Damien E. Bean in the Rose Ballerine Pink interior. Moving over, you guys know the relationship I have with the Kabuki Neverfull MM. I recently just took this out, and I had a good time. So many compliments, and I was so shocked. This is a carefree handbag, and to be honest, I've always wanted a monogram never full handbag with black leather instead of the, you know, the vachetta that it comes with. And I, I didn't even think about it until I, I carried this handbag. Even though, you know, it does have, you know, the painted print on there, I am happy to have it in my collection. And I honestly was going to sell this. I had it in the dust bag, in the box, in the attic for some years now. I can say that and, and I apologize for some years because I tell you guys, keep these handbags out of their dust bags, keep them out of the boxes and that's exactly where this Kabuki handbag was because I was going to sell it. But I'm so glad I kept it. The inside is the beautiful cherry red interior. It goes perfect with this handbag and this design. Let me get these straps out the way. But do you guys see how I have my straps folded over in? And inside, I have a bag pillow stuff. I told you, I either have an organizer inside each Neverfull or I have a pillow inside. I, I have to. You have to keep the shape of these handbags. And let me grab the pochette. And this was the real reason for purchasing, just being honest. I've carried this pochette. I've carried it by itself without the handbag because I'm in love with reverse monogram. I love it. And I, this pochette seems like it's, it's larger than a regular pochette. I have to check that out. But here is the back side. And of course, I had already converted as a wristlet as well. And let me grab a pochette. Oh I'm just curious, guys. Is it the same size? Yeah, it's the same size. I don't know why I thought it was different, but yeah, it's the same size. Thought I found out something different about this handbag, but here it is. This is the beautiful Kabuki Never Full MM with the beautiful reverse monogram pochette. And I think this was an awesome, you know, beautiful twist to the handbag. They could have easily just kept it monogram, but adding the reverse monogram print was a plus. And I love just having this in my collection. I can convert it and just carry it as a wristlet. 
okay so we are going to move up and i am going to speak on this v tote and then we're going to move to the monogram never full at the top so here is the v tote mm i am going to be honest i've never used this handbag it's been in my collection four years four to five years now i think yes four to five years now the reason I purchased is because I wanted to experience having a Vito in the MM size. I had one. I believe it was a Vito BB. I recently sold that. That was it. And I wanted it to be on front leather. And I saw this and I purchased. That was that was it. That was the entire reason. I I don't regret any purchases in my handbag. But I have to admit this probably would be one of the regrets because there was honestly no reason. It was just me wanting to try something different. I let the 30 days go by and I was stuck with the handbag. I wanted to pass this down to my mom, but my husband was like, no, this isn't a handbag to pass down. And it does have the gold hardware feet at the bottom. Beautiful color, guys. I love it. Very beautiful color. I love the two-tone, how they do with the Vito. And it is on front leather. Beautiful bag tag. I didn't even hot stamp the bag tag. It comes with two uh, double zipper, both gold hardware, of course. Very beautiful handbag. It do, It is. It's a very beautiful handbag, but it's just not my style, okay? Very beautiful, just not my style. So it's just been hanging out here in my collection and i think it's going to stay that way until i sell it <laughs> in unprompt leather because i had one in canvas i just wanted it you know in unprompt leather mm sizing like i said now i'm stuck with it and i'm very honest about my collection and how i feel about my handbags and so i'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings if you do have this handbag but it's just it doesn't fit my lifestyle it doesn't fit me that's all i'm trying to say but it is 100% on front leather, no canvas, okay? So I am going to speak on the Monogram Never Full and then the uh, Damien E. Bean Never Full in the GM size, and we will be done. Here is the beautiful Monogram Never Full MM. I recently sold the Damier Azure. I had a trifecta going on, but I just wasn't using that handbag, and I get tired of handbag sitting, so if someone else can love it more than me, I went ahead and sold it. So here is the monogram with Vachetta. And guys, as you can see, my Vachetta is Vachetting. Is that a word? Vachetting? I just made that up. But the patina has set in. It is this golden honey color. It's not that bright Vachetta. And I am loving it. And it's just been sitting here doing its own thing, aging very gracefully, and I am loving it. So, I do see a big change, and I am so excited about it. I just recently carried this Never Full, and it's been sitting for five years. I just carried it because I am doing my October handbag challenge, and I enjoy carrying it for the little time that I did. And I found this inside. So when I purchased, guys, it was $1,500, okay, when I purchased, and that was five years ago. Can you see the price? Okay. It was five years ago when I purchased. Of course, it comes with a pochette inside. I already have it converted as well because I try when I use it. I try to go in a grocery store. I try to use everything that this handbag comes with and it served its purpose. I absolutely love it. And I opted in and I chose the beautiful cherry red interior. This still looks so brand new and I'm loving it here. I love this. Inside, I do have a matching organizer, a red organizer. Everything is just perfect. I am loving this. I'm loving how this handbag is just aging so gracefully in my collection but here is the beautiful monogram never full mm and if you have the never full with the black leather i am jealous of you okay i am so jealous but here it is i love having it in my collection and no i will not sell this i'm not sure what was the difference between the observed you know versus the monogram maybe you know i am a monogram lover 
and Damier Azure just really isn't my top print, but I'm not selling, so you don't have to ask. But this is still now under $2,000. You can find the Never Fools, guys. They are off and on on the website, and they are starting to show up back in the boutiques. So the discontinuation that was going on, the discontinuation, you know, that the client service told me was not true. And if it if they even did that, they will be absolutely crazy. They will lose so many customers because this is the Mother's Day handbag. In May, this is the go-to handbag to bless our mothers with. So they will be fools if they get rid of the Never Fools, okay? But what they did and that marketing, taking the Never Fools off the website, scaring us like that, it worked. So kudos LV to the marketing team. So besties, I say the biggest Never Fool for last, which is the Never Fool in Damier being print. This is the GM size. If you don't have a GM size Never Fool in your collection, you are missing out. I use this for my business. I use this for personal. I use it for traveling. I mean, it comes in handy. This is the handbag you take to football games, in the movies. I mean, I am the queen of sneaking snacks in and this handbag does the job. It holds my 13 inch MacBook. It holds my laptop. It holds basically everything I need, including my kids if I want to. I went for this print because it's carefree, of course. And inside, I told you, always have an organizer inside of your Never Full handbags. And of course, I have one inside of my GM. You can find this organizer on my website, swagmybagaccessories.com, if you are interested in purchasing. I went for the red interior. And, of course, it does come with a pochette. All Never Fools come with a pochette. And I keep my Kirigami mid, the middle size, Kirigami pouch inside as well. And, guys, like I said, it's carefree. You don't have to worry about, you know, stains or anything like that on the outside. The inside, I can see that I need to clean it out some. But, guys, it's just a carefree handbag, and I love having it in my collection. And if you don't, as stated, have a GM size in your collection, you are missing out. If you want to cinch the GM size in, you can, but just do not leave it cinched. Please don't do that. We know canvas cracks, but I love having it out just like this, and it's just a beautiful handbag. I do see this out a lot when it's time for traveling in the summer, but I use this all four seasons. Okay, Bessie, so that wraps up today's video. I wanted to go over my Neverfull and my Reverse Monogram, but I didn't want the video to be extra, extra long. So I am going to break down my Reverse Monogram collection, and then I am going to start getting to handbags that I'm actually going to sell to get rid of because that's the main goal in the October challenge, me just getting a good handbag detox getting rid of some of these handbags that have just been sitting that's honestly my main goal for 2023 and going into 2024 just with a change of mindset just purchasing handbags that i'm actually going to use so guys thank you so much for tuning in make sure you come back tomorrow for my reverse monogram collection and we will move on from there stay safe stay blessed until next time bye bye